ஹலோ ஹலோ வெல்கம் டு அனதர் வீடியோ ஃப்ரம் டென் எக்ஸ் இன்வெஸ்ட் எஜுகேஷன் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ எம் வெரி எக்ஸைட்டட் டு டாக் அபவுட் எ ஆல்டர்னேட்டிவ் எனர்ஜி கம்பெனி விச் வென்ட் பப்ளிக் த்ரோ ஸ்பேக் எஸ்டர்டே அண்ட் ஆன் த பீனிங் டே இட் வெண்ட் அப் பை ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி எயிட் பர்சன்ட் ஓகே ஸோ டிப்பிக்கலி ஐ ஸ்டே வே ட்ரை டு ஸ்டே வே ஃப்ரம் ஸ்பேக்ஸ் பட் திஸ் ஒன் ஐ காட் அட்ராக்டட் I dig into deep and then I invested in small money. I am very happy to present this video. So this is not an investment advice to invest in this company because this just more than double yesterday. But this is a company and technology to keep in mind because this could be huge, huge. Okay. So this company doesn't have any revenues yet. this company still has to be proven so what this company is trying to solve is problem of energy storage okay could be utility companies grid and lot of other places where you cannot store energy for a longer time and where lithium and cobalt are in short supplies this is energy known as iron iron flow energy what it means is it needs just iron and salt water to make these batteries so these are not batteries that go into cell phone or car these are typically batteries of size of a container that can go and power you know 100 to 200 homes okay so not like the power wall in your garage tesla power wall in your garage small one which can supply for a couple of hours to your home okay this can long lasting okay and long life cycle for example if you take your cell phone after like maybe 2 3 years the battery goes down okay so the battery doesn't charge even if it charges it goes down okay so they are trying to solve this problem though so they guaranteeing that almost 20 years it will be 100% the life cycle life remains in these batteries and security and not fire hazard okay lithium cobalt they are fire hazard whereas this is much more secure and that's what they are claiming okay so first of all made up of iron and salt water which are very abundant and long life cycle and a long duration not just 3 4 hours but 20 hours so these are the promises of this company okay so some of the very top companies that invested into this company are Microsoft Bill Gates actually started a breakthrough energy partners which is basically a VC fund that invests into some of these companies okay if you remember a year back quantum scape that started at $10 and then it to 20 30 40 100 20 dollars in matter of days so because people were excited about it okay so with that solid state power and i think it's a similar thing here okay that's the reason why people are pumping this up but this has to be still proven technology okay so similar to quantum scape investments what these guys invested also known as iron flow batteries okay or there is no solution for long duration batteries that are not made up of lithium okay so the problem of long duration using salt water and actually iron is what they attracted companies from breakthrough energy founded by bill gates and also sb energy from softbank energy and also basf which is chemical energy company and these are some of the biggest investors in the pipe okay so they invested a lot of money in this one and this is not a huge market cap company either because this has to prove and it will take long years for them to prove but they are promising billions of revenues in next couple of years because remember bill gates this company invested in quantum scape also but for quantum scape they didn't have a product yet they are still researching into it now they are tying up with other companies to test their batteries until 2024 still it not be in production okay so whereas this company is different this company they already have a product 
including US military, bunch of uh, utility companies, um, other countries, they are actually using and testing this battery. Okay. So this is a little more advanced. If, if they say, you know, they have potential for a billion dollar revenue after three years, I might agree, maybe a couple of hundred million dollar revenues if it's successful. Okay. So again, this is a SPAC, high risk. So watch out when you are looking into this. The reason why I invested into this company is because this company is trying to solve a problems that are not solved by other companies in energy, clean energy. Okay. So not my words. Let's look and listen from the words of CEO and see how these batteries works. Okay. The company I was talking about, ESS technology, the symbol is GWH, is a research and development phase which engages in the manufacture of iron flow batteries from commercial energy storage applications. So Julius, founded by Julia Sang and Evans Craig, their wife and husband, they started in their garage, this company, January 2011. And this company is, I would say, so far went public. It's a really, really successful story. So still one point, you know, almost double less than billion dollar to one point seven billion dollar company. And the stock almost, you know, 128 percent on the day beginning. OK, so there will be pressure to sell off and it might go down by another 30, 40 percent in a couple of days. But, you know, this is a long, long term investment. I would advise to buy the stock at this price at all. Um, so I was talking about the breakthrough energy from Bill Gates. And these are the companies they invested into. So if you look at here, some of the companies they invested into the whole portfolio. So ESS Tech, that's what we are talking about. And very similar company also Farm Energy, which is also iron flow batteries. And they invested into very similar competing technologies. The reason is these batteries work differently and these batteries work differently. Okay. So then they also look uh, invested into quantum scape as i told and as you can see quantum scape and they invest in bunch of other companies not one like close to 25 companies they invested into okay some of them will be really successful some of them might not do at all well so long duration energy so this is the company that went in public and uh, accelerates renewables stabilizes the grid enable distribution and energy okay these are known as iron flow batteries and this looks like the size of a container. So, and this is actually transportation, obviously, you know, can be put in a truck and taken directly. And this is the whole battery that you can be installed to power 100 to 200 homes. So this is an investor presentation. I dig it through deep before investing into this company. I'm not going to go through any of the details. I quickly browse through what exactly who invested into this company and what is their expectations for revenue okay so this is as i said the founders 2011 started in the this is the spac that went to public 250 million dollar cash in pipe valuation is close to billion dollar and then as i said breakthrough energy basf sb energy ptt and energy ventures a lot of energy vcs that's what they invest into this company okay so if you look at here, going to, to their financials and on revenue. So obviously they don't have revenue, you know, they're showing $2 million, but that's the revenue. So they don't have any revenue to 2022 also much. So that is when 2023, that is when they expect revenue. By 2027, they expect $3.5 billion revenue. And we know we have seen a lot of SPACs coming up with these projections and not making even 20%, 30% of this. So really be aware of this. So again, the gross margin and projected EBITDA. Okay, so they are saying they'll be very profitable by 2023, um, 2024, big time. So their profits will range in close to billion dollar in by 2027. So this is the thing we have to see if they how successful they will be. So let's listen to what these are iron flow batteries Okay, how they work from the mouth of CEO of ESS Tech. Let's start. This is a vineyard in Sonoma, California. The solar panels you see there power the irrigation. Next to it, underneath that tree, is a battery. 
but it's unlike most batteries you've ever encountered because it could power your house just as easily as it could fertilize that tree. And it could help solve one of the biggest obstacles preventing the wider use of renewable energy. And that battery is sited underneath a 500-year-old California oak. Um, every time we tell the story, the oak gets more and more old. <laughs> usually, I think it was 100 year old when we first started. But and now it's 1,000. Now, now it's 1,000, yeah. <laughs> okay. This is Craig Evans, President and CEO of Energy Storage Systems Incorporated, or ESS Inc. But yeah, so when the arborist came in and, and did that um, analysis for citing the battery underneath the tree, because there was concern, he basically looked at the chemicals and basically said, this is just a fertilizer for the tree if there was any issues. And so, wow, that's amazing. Called an iron flow battery, ESS's design promises long duration, large scale energy storage with little to no environmental impact. And it's all possible because of the unique chemistry of the battery. It's mostly water. But first, let's talk about why we even need a new kind of battery. So what we do here is, you know, essentially we're trying to change battery technology. The batteries you're most familiar with are small. They're in your phone. They fit in the palm of your hand. But we need batteries for more than powering our personal electronics. Batteries could solve one of the biggest problems facing the power grid, large-scale renewable energy storage. The grid has problems, so you need the batteries to come in to compensate. Renewables tend to be intermittent, and the sun tends to only shine during the day. During the morning time and the evening time, there's pretty steep ramps. When the sun comes up and the solar panels come online, they come online pretty hard. And the grid wasn't really designed to handle that kind of energy surge. It's used to the constant predictable energy output of fossil fuel plants, not the intermittency of renewables. And so if you can include storage in that application, you can now store that electricity and then push it to the evening time or push it to the morning time. And the most common type of battery you've probably heard of being proposed for this type of energy energy storage is lithium ion. This is the same kind of battery found in your phone or laptop, but it's not the only battery technology we have at our disposal. You can use all kinds of chemistries to make a battery. You can even make a battery out of something as simple as iron and water. Yeah, so our battery is a little bit different. Our battery is a flow battery. A flow battery is an electrochemical cell where two chemical solutions are separated by a membrane. Ions are exchanged across this membrane, producing chemical energy and electricity. See that shipping container? That's not only used to transport the battery, it is the battery. That's right, you can go inside it. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so now you're coming into our containers. So if you turn around, look over there, that's where we store the energy. So you think about this 44 shipping containers are really separate a half and half. One half it is basically all the chemicals I use to store energy is in there. And then the other half is what we call the power module half. So the battery module is there to make the electricity happen. Called an energy warehouse, ESS's design is particularly well suited for long duration storage up to four hours or more. And so there hasn't been really a need for long duration storage up until this point because there hasn't been a large prevalence of renewables being put on the grid. But now with the larger duration of renewables, we now need some way to shift bulk amounts of electricity um, around. This means that excess renewable energy on the grid that would otherwise be wasted or underutilized can be captured and saved until it's needed. Typical lithium ion batteries can only do this up to one or two hours. ESS makes iron flow batteries which can use iron and salt water, some of the most common substances on earth. And so it's extremely abundant and extremely safe. In fact, it's basically the same as fertilizer. That's why it was good for the tree in the beginning. You can basically install these iron flow batteries anywhere without worrying about hurting the environment, which isn't necessarily the case with other types of batteries. So if you have a lead acid battery, for example, it's got a very negative pH. Stick your hand in it, you're going to get burnt. Lithium ion based batteries run organic electrolytes that can be flammable. So you've probably heard about this. It's been in the news. Samsung phones have caught fire. So have some battery powered cars. Lithium ion batteries can even explode under certain circumstances. So they require fire suppression systems. In addition to that, the fire code will require safety perimeters or they can't be sited in urban areas or hazmat suits required for, for installation. And iron flow doesn't need, doesn't have any of those problems. We do not. Correct. There's no fire risk. In fact, we operate around 50 degrees centigrade. We're well suited for desert environments, uh, or hot environments, equatorial regions. And then since we're an aqueous battery, basically a water-based battery, the pH is very similar to soda or wine. But you probably don't want to drink it. 
Uh, you, you don't want to drink it, but you could drink it. <laughs> okay, you you wouldn't, uh, nothing bad would happen for say unless you drank an abundant amount of it. Okay. So if you don't drink all the electrolyte, an iron flow battery also lasts a long time. A typical lithium ion battery will only last a couple years before it begins to lose the ability to charge. This is called capacity fade or degradation. So everybody carries a lithium ion battery in their pocket, their cell phone. And the day you buy your cell phone, it lasts for a full day on that single charge. But a year in, that, that cell phone now is going to be dead by 12 o'clock lunchtime. When that is typically due to cycle, every time you charge the battery, you lose a little bit of capacity. And when you're integrating with renewables, those renewables are going to want to cycle the battery every day, maybe once or two times a day. And so you want a battery that really has no capacity fade. And your battery has no capacity fade? That's right. So the battery that we deliver to the customer on day one will have exactly the same capacity in year 20. And when an iron flow battery finally gets to the end of its life, disposal... So the most important thing is the cycle time. So if you are keeping the cycle time at the year one and year 20, then that has humongous potential in my view. Well, is relatively simple since iron and water aren't toxic. That's not the case with a lot of other batteries. They can be composed of hazardous materials that pollute the environment. While most batteries can be recycled, the process is often complicated or expensive or both. In our case, our battery is 100% recyclable. So at the end of life, you can take that electrolyte that was in your battery for 20 years and you can put it in another battery. When you're just dealing with iron and water, recycling is a snap. The way we look at it is when you're when you're utilizing precious metals or rare earth elements for battery technology, you got to look at the full life stream of those materials and how you're going to recycle them, as opposed to going in and trying to strip the earth for more um, of those elements. When we you know, when we first started the company, you know, we like to say that we could build our battery at Home Depot. Materials are pretty prevalent. We use uh, PVC plumbing. But sometimes when we're missing a part, so a certain part didn't come in, our engineer would just go to Home Depot, pick up the different parts, and make it happen. Not a sponsor. Home <laughs> okay. So not only is the battery composed of some of the most common elements on Earth, you can find the parts to build it at almost any hardware store. And it comes with its own shipping container. Being inside of that iron flow battery, I have to say, wasn't what I imagined being inside a battery would be like. It seemed more like something that would be part of a hydroponic garden or a giant aquarium than something electrical. For something that could be the future of renewable energy storage, it looked surprisingly low tech. But just one of these shipping containers can provide 50 kilowatts of electricity. That's enough to power an entire neighborhood block for six hours. Iron flow batteries have to be this big because they're not as energy dense as a lithium ion battery. So these kind of batteries won't be going in your phone or even your car, but that's not what they're designed for. Our market is very large scale storage and requires cycle multiple cycles a day for a very long period of time. Those are our market. As well as providing energy storage for the Sonoma Vineyard we saw at the beginning, ESS's flow batteries are right now being used at a wind farm in Texas and on an experimental microgrid at the University of California in San Diego. Even the U.S. military has shown interest in these batteries. The Army Corps of Engineers is currently testing ESS's design to see if it can effectively reduce the military's dependence on fossil fuel. And a few iron flow batteries have even made their way to Europe and South America. What do you need to do to take over? What, what needs to happen? Get the word out? Uh, getting the word out is one. I think, you know, we we formed the company in 2011. Uh, we've been heavily involved in making sure that our, our technology is solid and that we are at a, you know, a CapEx cost that is either at lithium ion or less than lithium ion prices. And that we can back up our warranty and back up our guarantees that you'll have zero capacity fade and you have zero efficiency decrease over the 20 to 25 years. So, you know, the more and more renewables that come on the grid, the more and more requirement for batteries. So it's going to be a battery job. It's going to be a battery world. Yeah, <laughs> all right. In the future, our energy use will continue to grow, and the type and variety of batteries we use will grow along with it. There is no single battery that can solve all of our energy problems. In all likelihood, it'll take batteries of all kinds, big and small, with chemistries that cover a good chunk of the periodic table. So if it's gonna be a battery world, having a battery that's as good for our energy needs as it is for the planet is more important than ever. So the most important thing is this kind of company, whether it's a Bloom Energy or a Plug or you know ESS, very difficult for another company to come and replicate this. Okay, so this company has been there for last ten years. They have been researching and trying to perfect this product for almost last ten years, and they have close to two hundred patents. So this is the breakthrough technology, and if they can sell it, they have a huge market potential. But same thing comes with risk and reward. So this is not certainly investment advice. Please go through, do your own research before investing into this kind of company. I hope you like the video. I hope you like the idea of this company. 
please click if you like it please click the like button and see you on my next video thank you